So while we were walking around Geneva here in Switzerland, we came across something that we've got to share with you. It's a, I don't want to say it's a car dealership. It is a car dealership. I don't want to say it's an art gallery, but it's an art gallery and a watch shop and a wine shop and a bit of absolutely everything. You can even buy a vintage gas pump if you want to. There's a very cool one actually, I've got my eye on it. So it's called Cars and Arts and we're in the heart of Geneva. The manager's name is Eamon. Uh, we said a quick hello. We came outside to do a little introduction. Let's go meet him and uh, we'll, we'll take a look around. Come on. That there is the gas pump I was talking about. Oh, that's very cool. Isn't that cool? I like that. Imagine having that in your man cave. Uh -huh. All righty. Go inside. Eamon, hey how are you? Yeah, I'm good and you? Good, thank nice you for having you. us here. Welcome to Cars and Art. Thank you, thank you. You've got some very unique things in here. Tell us about the concept. The concept is it's to create a new experience, you know. We have supercars, we have arts, we have wine, spirits, cigars. So yeah, the concept is just to mix the most beautiful thing, a very unique experience. To Go shopping customers. in one place for everything, right? Yeah, that's right. So what a brilliant concept. I mean, it looks like you've got some incredible things here. Absolutely. Make yourself at home. Uh, feel free uh, to look around. And if you need anything, just ask me. I'm there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ready, Adam? I am ready, sir. Let's go. So my favorite car in the world, not the Aventador, but it is beautiful. I mean, this is a piece of art. It's a gorgeous looking car. So 600,000 Swiss francs, $680,000 thereabouts. I didn't know they were that expensive. Well, they, they have even got up in the States, but I think they're starting to fall, but this is a pretty one. I mean, a, as Aventadors go, this looks really, really good. Yeah, I've got to say, they got it so right with the design of this. Yeah, they did. Yeah, Maybe they, not so much the gearbox, but the design Does is it beautiful. have a gearbox? <laughs> and of course, Range Rover. So this is different. This is different to the US. P440E, does that mean it's electric? Mm, good question. That is a good question. It says PHEV, it? so yeah, I imagine it's a hybrid. Oh yeah, look, plug-in hybrid. There you go. Do we have that in the stage? No, of course not. Pretty car. Look at that interior. Very nice. I really like those seats. Very, very nice. Does it make you miss yours? I haven't driven it. I was just about to say, have you even put any miles on it? How long have I had it now? Six months? Yeah. 200 miles, like 190 miles. So. <laughs> you drive the G-Wagon a lot though, don't you? Yeah, that's got 2,000 miles on it. Yeah, and that's good for you. That's and good the, for me. And the AMG. Done about 300 miles in that. Yeah. But I'm working on it. I'm going to put a lot of miles on that car. So interrupting the video because I've got something special to show you. How about this environment? How pretty is this? We are in a mega mansion, which is coming to the channel soon. But before we go there, more Tsar Bomber watches. These watches are amazing value. For those of you that like the look of these watches, you don't have to spend six figures. You don't even have to spend four figures. These are less than a thousand dollars. And there's a code PM20 to get you 20% off across the entire site. And all the info, of course, will be in the description. So this is ceramic and carbon fiber. I mean, beautifully made watch. So guys, yeah, go check them out. This is the like a butterfly. Gorgeous piece. Once again, absolutely gorgeous. This piece is less than $500. Can you believe that? Less than $500. Crystal back, 100% waterproof to I think 5 ATM, which is great. So you can go swimming in it. Just a beautiful piece. All the info will be in the description. So bomber, carbon fiber, carbon and ceramic. Go enjoy. Cigars. In a carbon fiber case. I love the case. Looks like the case that my fragrance is in. Fragrance it, it does, Dubois, it? right? Yeah. Same case. You're not a cigar person, are you? No, I don't smoke. No. Don't smoke. I don't, do I? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Another one? Another plug-in hybrid? Another plug-in hybrid. What's Popular. This? Look at this. So that, um, if I'm not mistaken, is a Dali. So Dali. Salvador? Very, Salvador Dali. Very famously made these like bent clocks. There's a lot of uh, prints of them and, and uh, lithographs. And, and that's a very famous signature piece of Dali. I don't know if that is an actual Dali. It might be, is it? Got anything on it? Well, there's some kind of signature there, but I can't read it. What does it say? That says Salvador Dali. No way. I've no idea I can read it. We'll pretend it does. It probably does, <laughs> it, pro it probably does. Okay, let's continue. What is this? That is a Polaris slingshot, sir. A Polaris slingshot, go the as back. in a catapult? Yeah, go around the back. Oh, it's missing a wheel. <laughs> 
What a strange contraption. They are wild. Is it fast? Um, Look at this. like fun. They're, they're fun. They're not fast, but they're fun. I could see you driving one of these. This is the type of Adam car. I, I like four wheels on my cars and I like two wheels on my motorbikes. I'm not sure where I stand on is tripods. Is it stable? I mean, yes, but you've only got one tire in the back. So trying to put the power down can get a little bit- um, Front wheel drive or rear, rear wheel drive? I guess it's rear wheel drive. Yeah, look, belt drive as well. It's belt driven. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, very, very interesting car. You can rent them in Las Vegas. Maybe we should do that next no. time we go to Vegas. No. You can rent one. <laughs> All right, this here is, um, well, before we get to this, let's look at this. This is nice. That's cool. Isn't that cool? I want a dog, no offense to Diesel, but I would love to have a dog that was like that build and that size. A real one yeah. or a, we get a Doberman? I, yeah. My last dog was German Shepherd Doberman. Yeah. Lovely dog. Back to the car. Yes. Alpine. Yeah. Is that a brand? It is, yeah. Like a standalone brand? Yep. Don't know very, very about old. It. So they used to make really cool race cars. I've actually seen a few at the Nürburgring. Oh, it's nice. It's Incredibly got... light, very zippy. It's got those funky seats in that break your thighs when you get in the car. Bucket seats? Yeah. You like those. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very driver-focused Very Ferrari-ish. Look at the, mm. uh, the drive. That's exactly the same as the, the Ferraris. are very similar. I wouldn't say exactly the same. Yeah. No, it's cool. I like the little stripe on the steering wheel so you know it wears up. Very nice. Ooh, you recognize that? I do. I have one of those. I actually have a few of them. That you this don't drink? Very expensive. How much? So... The rare cask, which this one is, I think it's about $30,000. Um, Jeez. I know, it's crazy. And to be honest with you, I can't tell the difference when I taste it between that and a $50 bottle. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm like that with wine. Talking of wine, there's Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go look at the wine in, in a second, but they've got some amazing stuff here. And the pipe, you don't see pipes anymore. Look no, I know, these pipes. are amazing. So testing my knowledge, Meerschaum, I believe it's called Meerschaum, are the finest pipes. I don't know if these are Meerschaum, I don't know how you would even tell. Um, and I can't read anything because I'm blind <laughs> without my glasses, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but Meerschaum make great pipes. That so, is a- Is that a uh, Dali wine glass? It could be, right? But how what fun. Else, what else I got? This is expensive too, I believe. Yeah, I don't know the first thing about that. Who I, is it? I'm pretty sure. That, oh. that this is also about thirty thousand dollars. So was I right with the price of this? Yeah, you were. Yeah, it's about yeah. thirty grand. Yeah. yeah, and I've not a clue. Let us know in the comments how much is this little guy down here. Got some fun stuff. Rum, extra old rum, not just old <laughs> rum, but it's extra old rum. Connect cask, finish, aged eight years. So what do you call eight years extra old? That would be kind of young, right? No. Yeah, I guess. I'm, I, honestly, I'm not a spirits guy. I'm I like either. my red wine and I like my beer. For those of you that like cigars, there's some, uh, there's a, a Juan Lopez, a premium torpedo, got to love a torpedo now and again, right? A Gurkha, isn't that a cucumber? No, that <laughs> would be a gherkin, right? <laughs> so, of course, because over here, they're allowed to get uh, Cohibas, right? Yeah, Cubans. Yeah. Yeah. And here we have, what do we have? Look at that, that's fun. It's got Rolex images on the, the destroyed can. This is some great artwork. It's very funky, isn't it? It's very it's, funky, very funky. It's so like perfect for this sort of uh, type of vibe, you know, the designer brands, I mean, the cool art, motorsports type, Steve McQueen. Where do you go and see all of this in one show? Oh, look here, there's a Ooh. Box, box of watches. I was coming to the- They're in the box of watches. Oh, what have we got in here? Have a look. Oh, they're just here laying out. Nice, some sport models. Can you imagine doing this in the States? <laughs> They'd be, thank you very much, thank you very much, let's go. Well, they right, don't even it? run. No, they don't. Uh, you, don't even get, you don't even get prosecuted if no. you're in California. Well, thank goodness right. we're here in Geneva. Pick your favorite. We're supposed to pick our favorite out of okay, this box. Uh, uh, this box here, I would pick this one. This is my favorite. What do you think? Ooh, I do like that. That's a pretty one. You love right? a Sky Dweller now, don't you? I do love a Sky Dweller. I have a Sky Dweller. That, I like the rose gold. That dial's nice too. The Very rose gold pretty. with this sort of dark grey anthracite almost. Yeah, beautiful. What's your favourite? Well, I was I was going for the Batman, but I I much prefer a Jubilee bracelet now, which is strange because I never used to. Is this a deep sea? It is a deep sea. Sea dweller. So, oh, sea dweller. Is this not called the, no deep sea? Um, or is it a sea dweller deep sea? I think it is a bit of both. <laughs> Probably. Mm, yeah, this. But that's not the James Cameron. It isn't. The James Cameron is a little bit prettier because it has the blue fade in the I dial. I do like that, yeah. Oh, look, Latash. 
What year is that from? Uh, 75. 70, 75. So this is this is expensive. This is this is probably eight, nine, ten grand, five grand, somewhere around there, four grand. I think this is ten grand. No? Adam shaking his hand saying it's four. It's four. I think it's ten. Nineteen. This is testing our wine knowledge. Here we go. Natash. Three thousand to four thousand dollars. I absolutely hate you. You know the only reason I know it. How do you know? It's because Eamon told me earlier. Uh, well, it was 10 grand, it's on sale. <laughs> it's four grand. So this this whole row here, this basically starts, I think, around So two, you had a like a, a little bit of a lesson before we started? I did, I did, yeah. Where so, was I? So the, over there, I was shooting B-roll. <laughs> okay. So this starts at about, I believe, 2,000 and sort of makes its way up. This here is actually the Petrus. This is the most expensive. I believe this is about $5,000 a bottle. Interesting. So, well, I'm yeah. not going to challenge you because because you, you, you know. Let's continue. Sorry, this also for our wine lovers, the Mouton Rothschild is also... Lit Rothschild, very famous. Yeah, also a nice wine. But much less expensive. Let's see, let's do a little scan for our wine fanatics and show people what else they've got. Because here's the thing, I love a good six to seven dollar Trader Joe's red wine. Or <laughs> organic grapes. I have a question. No headache. I've got a question. If, hyper decanted. Hyper decanted. Mwah. If I poured a glass of this yeah. and it's equivalent $5 brother, yeah. would you be able to tell the difference? I've never tried this, so I don't know. I can tell you that I have been fooled by maybe not $5 wines, but $10 wines, $12 wines versus a $50 or $80 wine. 100% would be able to I, tell I, I just don't understand how somebody can spend this much money on a bottle of wine and you've no idea what's coming out of the bottle. It's old, they, yep. they're all different. Yep. And, and they're like, oh, this is delicious, this is wonderful. And maybe it is, I don't know. I, I'm with you. I mean, think about it. This last saw, daylight, well not daylight, but air, 19, well no, air gets through the cork. You know what I'm saying? 48 years ago. 48 years, it's been sat in that bottle. Yeah, I'd rather have a new one. <laughs> Right. I do know what this is. Oh God. So I had one of these back in the day. This is the old G-Wagon. Not the old, old one. It's a pretty old one, but it's not that old. This is probably, I don't know, 2015? 14. 14, yeah. okay. The most uncomfortable ride in the world. I mean, really terrible. And then you compare it with the new one, which is the nicest ride in the whole world. They, they just, they really, really evolved. This is the, the later version of the old one, so maybe yeah. this one is slightly better, but listen, you'll remember this sound. Oh God. Don't, don't say it. Let's go. Okay. Hold on, so. we've missed all of these. Oh, there's more? Yeah, look at all these. You've gone past my, basically my two favorite cars in here. This is C63 Brabus Edition. So what does that mean, Brabus Edition? They, so they Brabus is like an aftermarket it, right? tuner. Yeah, Mercedes aftermarket performance thing. So you get some carbon fiber, you've got some like DTM inspired uh, front scoops here, carbon fiber with the LEDs, which I've never seen before. Nice little carbon fiber diffuser, splitter type thing. These Got are my a color combination car. inside. I love the red and black. Yeah, this is a hooligans car. It is. So yeah. you, basically, you would love it. It would be a lot of fun. Yeah. More watches. Would. Oh, there are watches. Hold on, hold on. Before we go to this, can we just look at one more car? What car? This one. Because we don't get these in America. What is it? Well, I don't believe we do. So it's the GT edition, right? So it's the-, the Of what? The Panamera. So okay. it's the four door. They do have Panameras in- They do, but I'm not sure that we get the GT edition. We might, but you definitely don't see them very often. But it's like the comfy way to get around- And it's quick? In a Porsche. I mean, quick enough. Not that expensive, really. 89,000 Swiss francs, that's $93,000. This I have no idea if that's a good price or a bad price. Why are shoes in a case? What are these? Louis Vuitton. They are? Oh, wait. They're... No, no, they're not. Yes, they are. Louis Vuitton, but also off-white, maybe, because of the little... Oh, yeah, look. look. They have the little emblems, the Louis emblems in there. Yeah. I haven't seen those before. So this is, I guess, when Virgil Abloh, maybe I'm making this up, but when Virgil Abloh took over Louis, came from off-white, because it has the air thing, which I is an off-white thing. Virgil Abloh is. You know who Virgil Abloh is. I know who Virgil, uh, Virgil Ab 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 Abloh is. Yeah. He took over Louis Vuitton. He did, yeah. These are probably expensive. I bet Let's they go are. to the watches. How much are these trainers over here? This in StockX for the moment is like 
Around 10,000. He Ten. said 10,000. On StockX. 10,000 on StockX. And how much from you guys? For them, we sell it at uh, 15,000. Well, if you want a pair of Louis Vuitton Airs, then they're right here for $15,000. Watch this. Let's do it. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Oh, Would you be so kind as to pull out this guy? Um, got to pull out the, the, the 5712 Patek and sure. what else? Got some beautiful pieces here. This, the Corum, because that's very unique. I want to show you a function that that watch has. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, let's let's take a peek at those. I love these statues. Do you see this dog here? Oh, <laughs> they are cool, aren't they? I'm going to show you something while he's pulling those watches out. Come this way. Okay. You will see this in my house. I am going to buy it. Really? Yes. I am going to buy it and have it shipped <laughs> to Beverly Hills. I love it. Look at his face. Yeah, I've got to have that. Oh. Do you think Humphrey and Henry will like it? They'll be terrified, but... They'll get used to it. That's so cool. But I have to have this. Do you not um, want this as well? For your closet? No, no, I don't want that for the closet, but I do want this. I want that for my garage. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. It's really cool, but this is a must. Maybe I need this for the closet as well. That'd be nice. But this is cool. All righty. Yeah. So, this is factory, I believe. It is, it, it is actually. And it's a 2004 watch. Really, like, we can say vintage watch right With now. With the meteorite dial. Yeah, discontinued. Full factory diamond set with the baguettes on the bezel. What are you asking for this watch? So 199,000 francs Swiss. So that's $220,000. How's that? That's cricket. That's cricket? How's that? Oh. <laughs> that's a British expression. That is. For those of you that watch cricket, how's that? That means, is he out? Yeah. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Cut that out, Stephen. Um, he won't. No. So I think that's, you know, I've never seen this watch with the meteorite dial. I've seen this watch many times with the mother of pearl dial, and they're about 160, 170 in the US right now. So I think this is probably very reasonable. Wow. Exactly. Very rare. So it actually in, the, in Switzerland, we are the only one we have this with this configuration. I've never seen so it before. There it is some model with uh, like another diamonds in the, in the inside like on a dial, right. but like this, you cannot get it. With the alligator band and the diamond and the ruby with the mitra dial, all together is like a really unique one. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we have the... 5712. 5712. Very classic, very classy watch. Beautiful watch. Let me guess the price of this one. Go ahead. Um, so in the US, this watch, and I'm assuming it's complete with box and papers. Yes, all of the watches is full set. Okay. E even this one is like a really like collectible piece. So you have every detail, details, it comes with the watch, you have it. That's fantastic. Yeah. So I'm going to guess this is about $120,000. So 110,000 Swiss francs. Exactly. 109,900. Ta-da, I can have a job. So sure, yeah. Did you tell you me this? It? I didn't. I really didn't. That's very impressive. Not yeah, bad, right? Very impressive. Right, let's, impressive. See if I, let, let's see if I can destroy it now, because <laughs> I honestly have no idea. What watch what, is this? So this one is a Corum. How do you open it? Oh, it's a so buckle. Should, yep. This is a Corum, and it's the center bar, which has a very unique function. It's an automatic watch. You see the weight at the back, yep. at the bottom? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Oh, there you go, you can show it that way. It, yeah. This is the rotor. So instead of it going round, it wind, at least I think that's what it does. It, it would make sense. sense. Yeah, right. And then, and then the movement is right in the center. Can you see that? And we call it Golden Bridge. Yeah. Golden Bridge. Um, again, I have no idea how much this watch is, but I could throw a guess out there. Should I throw a guess out there? Yeah. Might embarrass myself. That's all right. So before you guess, it's a limited edition to 200 pieces. Okay. So add an extra zero. No, I don't think this is, this is, this is not a tourbillon, right? No. I don't think this is that expensive. I think this is $60,000. Am I a long way away? We are at 50,000 franc. So, yep. That's pretty 58,000. Yeah. yeah. How about there. that? Yeah, you, you know you, you know it, actually. Watches is your thing, I think. 100%. Yeah. Do you know how many watches this man has? 
A lot, <laughs> a lot, I know. But he needs it, he needs the it more. Of, the amount of watches I have, there's a word for it. Stupidity, right? No. Total stupidity. It's passion. Way too many, way too many. And it's an addiction, you know, it's, it's just exactly. a beautiful... Exactly. It's a passion and addiction at the same time, but it's beautiful. Changing the topic entirely, mm -hmm. off camera, I want that bulldog. I sure. have to have that bulldog, so we have sure. to figure a way to... Do you want to carry it for me? Uh, no, I'm fine, thank you. No? But th thanks for offering. Yeah, I, th I thought, you know, you, you like a challenge. It's, it's very, very kind He of loves you. a challenge, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, I see, I seen the channel, like, <laughs> he loved the, all the challenges <laughs> we give him. So, I can't thank you enough for showing us this magnificent, magnificent showroom. Uh, it, it, it's fun, you see so many things that you wouldn't normally thank see. You. Thank you. Um, wish you the best of luck with it. Great collection of watches, cars, art, wine. Yeah, thank so, you. So, it was our so, pleasure. So thank, thank you, you very so much. much. We'll put the full description. Anybody who's in Geneva, you've got to come and experience this and go shopping. And in the interim, we are in it to win it. Like the video, hit the subscribe button. What am I missing? Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Follow us what on does Instagram. the bell do? Uh, the bell is supposed to give you notifications. It doesn't because YouTube are Hit not the bell fair. anyway because it's supposed to. And, and, and there it is. Go in shopping. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. ProducerMichael.com, 8X, buy a shirt, um, buy a watch, buy. Fragrance. Buy. Fragrance. We did fragrance. What? That watch. It's not for sale. Oh yeah, you can. For sale? Jacob and Co. Go to Jacob and Co. Buy a ProducerMichael watch. <laughs> Get out of here. Bye.